Psalm chapter 7, verse 11, verse 12. If a person does not repent, God will sharpen his sword. He will bend and string his bow. He will prepare his deadly weapons and shoot his flaming arrows. This is the poetic language showing the wrath of God. God is angry with the wicked every day. See that? He, he, God is, shows his wrath every day with the wicked. You know, the wicked seems to thrive. What they're doing, destroying Christian families and non-Christian families too. Bring in an agenda that's totally contrary to the Word of God. Try to diminish the glory of God. Trying to uh, redefine the gender, sexuality, and happiness, and everything. They got our institution high learning for sure. And this is what God says. Okay? God is angry with the wicked every day. Verse 11. He's wicked. He's angry with the wicked every day. Verse 12. If a person does not repent, God will sharpen his sword. And he will bend and swing his bow. He will prepare his deadly weapon and shoot his flaming arrows. What it means is God is going to judge them on earth. This is not saying that when Christ returns, he's going to shoot his arrows. He shoots arrows now on earth. But when exactly, we don't know. Because he's God, he will do it accordingly. But make no mistake, it will come on this day. Verse 14, the wicked conceive evil. They are pregnant with trouble and give birth to lies. Conceive evil and give birth to lies. Haven't we heard this before? You know, the, this, the battle that we face today is the biggest one is conception of uh, evil. Everything is in the mind. The rewrite and, and uh, <laughs> the rewrite of syllables and, and all these things. Okay, they're pregnant with trouble and they give birth to lies. If you look at the if you look at the political atmosphere today in America, you won't believe the headlines is filled with lies and suppression of truth and manip manipulation of public information, and that involves big high power departments of the country. This is what we're talking about. They dig a deep pit to trap others, but they fall into it themselves. See, God is going to shoot the arrow either way God will get them. Now say, you're going to dig your head. You're going to trap others. You you want to set it up. And in the end, God say, I will get you. I'll use the very trap that you built for others. It will get you. This is exactly what happened to uh, Mordecai and... Uh, <laughs> and then the evil guy in the book of Esther, he wanted to terminate to kill off all the Jews. And God turned it around. You know, that, that evil man built a gallow for Mordecai, which is the leader of the Jew. And Esther interceded to the king. The king inter intervened and turned around and sent that evil man to the gallow and reverse all the evil things that he's planned against the Jews. Let me tell you this, this is probably, and I hope it is, the prophetic picture. So much evil has been planned and plotted and conceived and you know, against God's creation. Like the Bible said, they are pregnant with trouble. They give birth to lies. They dig a deep pit to trap others. And guess what? They fall into it themselves. They will fall into themselves. You know, the time is coming. They're exposing. God is exposing and turning around. God is shooting arrows. We serve a very active, powerful God. The trouble they make for others backfires on them. The trouble they make for others backfire on them. It backfires. This is such a good word. 
you know, they planned, they plotted, they conceived with all this, and guess what? It, they backfired on these evil people, wicked people. All right? The violence they plan falls on their own heads. One day they'll pay for it. In fact, some of them are already feeling God paying back to them. All right? And it will be more. Watch it. History will unfold before our eyes. Verse 17, finally, David said, I will thank the Lord because he's just. I will, pr I will sing praise to the name of the Lord Most High. I will praise the Lord because he is just. We must believe and fight for justice in America. Justice shall be served. Those who are corrupted and, uh, and plotted and lied will will get trapped by the very trap they set up for others and God will prevail and there will be a day of reckoning finally when Christ comes back but before he comes back on this earth there will be a lot of things happening America is is really is is uh, is there's nothing that is as exciting as living in this age now in America, and God is doing my day. Folks, believe it and uh, believe it. Once you believe it, you release faith. You have faith in doing it. People of God must be a partaker, partaker on the, on the grand plan of God for God to shoot the arrows releases wrath against the wicked the righteous will praise the Lord for the Lord our God is just Amen